What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Diesel Brothers video. I know it's been a little bit since we did one, but I finally figured some stuff out, guys. Uh they just released an update actually. I think it was today. It is the free roam mode. So you get 20 mil cash all the time and you get 10,000 fans which lets you let me see here. Which yeah, lets you buy pretty much everything. I mean, you can't really do any of this stuff here, but but yeah, you can come up to here. Uh, let's see, management. You got all the fan rewards now. You got all all the decals, everything you could possibly want. Uh, but guys, the whole point of this is going to be for us to trick out a truck as much as we want, like 100%. Like do whatever we want, put whatever we want on here, which is what I'm what I'm going for. So this is going to be probably. A couple part series here just on this art and sterling right here uh, the plan is going to be to obviously I think we're just gonna slap it first with a repaint second with a lift kit new tires new wheels um, we're gonna see if we can add on any new bumpers or anything uh, definitely throw a roof rack on what else can we do I'm trying to remember uh, new hoods we're gonna, we're gonna try and find some like good performance parts in the junkyard, some stuff that's a, at least a pretty close to 100%. Uh, this thing was 113,000 for me to buy, so uh, it's pretty expensive. So the whole point of this is gonna be, we're gonna try and increase the value and then we're gonna take this thing to auction and see what we can get for it at auction. Uh, but first things first is we're going to unbolt the cab off of the frame and we're gonna see if we can transport the entire thing. I think that was the right piece. Where's all the other cab pieces? Yeah, we're gonna highlight all the cab so we're gonna take the entire cab transport it to the paint booth because I think we can paint the entire cab at once then instead of having to rip off all the doors and everything at least we're gonna try this out don't know if it works but we're gonna find out is there really only six screws for the cab let's go find out make sure it lifts down management transfer Front. Okay, so we still got to oh, we still got to take everything off. Dang it. Okay Let me set that up there So it wants the front lights out which I mean I guess that makes sense Let's see if it wants anything else out Left light frame, uh, okay All right, so yeah if, it, if we're gonna do anything it's gonna have us It's gonna have us take all these parts off. All right. Well, that sucks. I thought we were going to be able to just go through and transfer the entire thing. Nope. So we got to do all these parts individually on top of the fact of having to do everything else. All right, here. Did I get that light off? I did. Okay. Take these off. We're just going to go through and unscrew everything off of the main cab here really quick. Just because if we do it all at once, it'll be a little bit quicker. So yeah, guys. So we're going to do... Painting or we'll be, I think we'll probably sandblast paint Because um, I think if you sandblast before it gives you I think it actually gives you a better finish to the truck here um, What else sandblast paint? So wheels tires suspension lift kit uh, We might look into doing engine stuff. I haven't done engine stuff yet um, But this is free roam mode and I do have an engine hoist. Let me pan over Right there. We got engine lift and we got a holding stand and a transmission jack and everything. So we could honestly, we can do this entire thing, which I'm really, really excited for. All right, get this grill out here. I'm gonna highlight these bolts because these ones are a little hard to see. Got the radiator and everything all up in the way. And then one more bolt over here for this guy. Okay, these are all good. Doors out yet? No, not yet. So I think, I'm trying to think of what color we're gonna paint this. I think I'm gonna go with another one of those metallic flake paints like we did on that orange truck that we did a little bit ago. Huh, but I don't know yet. All right, let's run this over here. Oh, and another thing is they made it so you can automatically run in the game now so you don't always have to hit shift, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, let's see. Give me that fender. This fender straight up looks like a Silverado fender. All right, give me the hood. 
So we'll paint this hood and everything. Uh, we might find a better hood. I don't know. Uh, we'll hit the junk. We'll transfer everything over. Then we'll hit the junkyard and see if we can find anything else. Uh, just a cooler hood, pretty much. Oh my, there are so many parts to this. Right, let's grab this door. If you rotate them, you can fit them in here a little bit easier. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's like 12, 12 parts. Okay. Bam. There we go. Oh, let's take this too. Oh, I didn't undo it here. We're going to undo... Let's see. Not the bumper. We're going to undo our... Wait, did I just unscrew the bed? I just unscrewed the bed. Oh, no. Oh, uh, we're going to unscrew the hatch really quick. The trunk. It's all right. We can leave the bed unscrewed because we're going to need to transfer it over anyways to get painted. All right. Let's throw that right there. Give me that. And now... All right. Will you just... There we go. It'll sit. All right. Now let's see if you can transfer the whole thing off of there to sandblasting. Management transfer. Oh, front bumper still on. What? Can't believe you forgot that one. Uh, bumper select. There we go. Bumper is gone. Anything else on here that we need to take off? I don't think so. I've been wrong multiple multiple times before though. Hey, we're done. All right. Transfer you to sandblasting. And the whole cab is gone. Look at that. It literally just pulls right off the rails though, which is pretty pretty neat. I should work on the truck like this for now and just always remove the uh Hey, this is Cummins on the top. So, what? No way. What? Why does that? There's no. This is a Cummins motor. What? I didn't realize that they actually like had names for the motors. That because these are super generic names. Uh, engines. Six point six V eight. Massive Roughline Ultimate. What's the difference? Bullet, four by four. So these are all four by fours. Okay, I guess some of them have better acceleration than others. Yeah, this ultimate has a crazy. We're gonna order that. Uh oh my gosh, we can slap turbos on these bad boys. A new CPU, radiator, injectors. Okay, so you can't do that much, but but you can do a little bit. That's really neat. Okay, well, we got that ordered. We will not be doing that in this video. That will be definitely like two or three videos down the road. But exciting. Very, very exciting. Uh, let's transfer everything now to Le Sandblasting. All right, so Sandblasting, if you guys don't know, is what we're going to do. And it will peel all the paint off. There we go. Oh my gosh, I have not sandblasted the cab before. This is going to be really tedious. It definitely looks like they changed it though, so you don't use nearly as much sand. Uh, before, you would, I would have to have refilled by now. But hey, not with this, which I like. Oh, this side's not anywhere near done. see did that do everything here I'm just trying to make sure we're not missing any spots Let's see what we got underneath Let's see if we got any residual nope looks like we're good uh oh we have twisted this whole thing up come on get out of there uh oh oh there we go I was gonna say the sandblast cord is all messed up all right we'll drop this Transfer this. 
All right, we're just gonna go through and sandblast each piece one by one. I'm gonna go through and do this really quick, actually, because this is just gonna be the same thing over and over again. So if you guys just wanna give me just a minute here, uh, I'll probably just time lapse it and show you guys. Uh, we're gonna sandblast every part here in our little trolley. So there's part one done. <laughs> I'll see you guys with the other 12 parts in a second here. guys there we go i got all these pieces done wow that it, it took me it took me a couple minutes there uh i got the entire cab sprayed down too i think it's all pretty good here um yeah all the corners look pretty good all right let's jump back over here to the garage real quick make sure all of our parts got brought with us yes they yes they did okay uh, really quick, we're gonna, we gotta we have to stop back at the garage first before we can transfer over some stuff. So we gotta stop by the garage and then we gotta go sandblast. We gotta click on this one, click paint shop, and drag it in there. There we go. Now we can go to the paint shop once this loads, <laughs> uh, and then we should be good. I'll have all of our parts. Yes, we do. All right, sweet. And yeah, the entire thing is just down to bare metal now. So I think the paint should look a lot better than usual. Just gonna say, do we have anything in here? All right, so I think we're gonna do a flake. I think we're gonna, I did orange last time, which is pretty cool. I think we're gonna see, dang, I wish I, could, I wish there was a bigger choice of colors here. Honestly, I don't want to do blue because we just did blue. Um, you know what? Let's try. Let's try this green. Let's try this green here. Alrighty, so let's widen this here. See what she looks like. Oh wow, that is very, very bright, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I think we can do a pretty cool theme with this. Hold on, we're gonna widen this. Widen this spray pattern here. There we go. Making sure we're getting everything. So yeah, when we sandblasted it, I think that should have... Okay, we still got some weird blank spots here. We have to be really careful and precise with this. Alright, we'll refill this up real quick. You drop that off. Alright, so this one is perfect, I think. Uh, now we'll set that up and we'll do the body here real quick. So we got to be really, really good with these strokes. Uh, there we go. Yeah, because if we're off a little bit, it does actually not stick very well. Actually, So here, let me show you. So see how I was spraying really far away over here? If I come over, you see these two differences? It looks like the... Oh, let me remove this. It looks like the same color paint, but in reality, let me just hit you with this. See, it's so weird. Oh, did that just paint this entire side for us? 
Oh, it did. Sweet. Okay. Too bad we're going to have to repaint it anyways. The other side here. There we go. Give me the gun. Start from the bottom, work our way up. We got to make sure we get all these little spots here. Because I don't think this doesn't show us the percentage painted. So we have to be extra diligent about it. Not really much we can do about the roof, though. I will have to say that, though. All right, we ran out. Wow, okay. 350 per spray. So it's basically we're paying 350 bucks per panel right now. I think it's looking good, though. All right, now we'll change spray pattern. Uh oh, nope, nope, give me that. Give me that. We'll keep it big. But let me change the... There we go. Now we'll go this way. All right, that thing is done. I don't know. I like the color of this. Honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Make sure we got all that covered. All right, guys, I'm going to go through, paint the rest of all of this because there's a ton here for me to paint. Uh, probably just time lapse again, like the uh, sandblast thing. Uh oh, we got a little panel sticking down there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go through, paint all this. I'll see you guys when I'm done painting. Alright guys, there we go. We've got everything done now. Let me just load our transport or wagon or cart or trolley, whatever you want to call it. And load it back up with all of our parts real quick. Uh, next, all we got to do is slap this stuff back on the body. And then we're going to unhook or unscrew the, uh, the, uh, the bed. Yeah, we got to put all this stuff back on the cap. And then we're going to do the bed next. And we're going to do this one. The exact same. We're going to take it off. We're going to send it to blasting. We're going to get it blasted. Uh, we'll take it back here. We'll get it painted. Man, I think, though, guys, I think I'm really digging this paint job here. The flakes look really good. Uh, a lot. Of, the only issue with this is a lot of the colors are really, really dark. So if you don't click anything in the center section, it's not too great, honestly. Let me show you here. So if you were to do anything right here in the top section, they don't look that good. Or the bottom because it's all blown out like pastels or whatever. Um, you can do some very interesting silvers though. Like you can do a silver with like a hue of blue, which is like kind of what we're on now. Um, and then it just kind of looks like all baby blue. So it's not too great. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's go back now and go to the garage. There we go. Wait for this load in. Let's crank it over here. Okay. Let's bring the cab back. Uh, garage upgrades. Transfer. There we go. Oh, we're painting up. Sandblasting. Duh. Okay. Transfer that over. There we go. She's on the rails. All right. Here, really quick. Let's unscrew this bad boy. 
That one is already undone. Yes, I remember that. Oh, we're going to have to take this bumper off, too. Let's just take this off while we're at it. I think we'll probably upgrade the exhaust, too. Like, do all new exhaust, because I think this stock exhaust here... Let's pull this bed off really quick. But I'm pretty sure the stock exhaust on all these trucks is the exact same. So unless you upgrade it, I think it's the same thing, which is weird. Really, really weird. Uh, show parts, bed. Ah, uh, we gotta get the lights out. Duh. What am I thinking? All right, light. Bumper. I didn't even take. I didn't even take the bumper off. There we go. Uh, management transfer. This. No. This. Uh, we will go. Sandblasting. Check. There we go. Uh, let me see this exhaust really quick. Nope. Yeah, this is the stock exhaust. If you buy any of the other exhausts, they are all like titanium and like coated. So they're all like weird bluish, reddish, greenish, purple. Uh, it's yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Uh, let me slap this thing back on the rails real quick. We'll lock this in. Oh wow, I'm surprised I was able to reach that one. Let me get over here, get this front one up. Just want to have the cab back on at least. And get this. So yeah, next video, guys, I think we're going to be doing lift kit. Uh, once we do the lift kit, uh, then we'll do tires, of course. Obviously, once you do lift kit, we'll do tires. I don't know what the max size of tire is or you can, if you can even change tire size. Um, but I'll be looking into that to see if we can because that's something that really, really, really interests me. Uh, interests me. Uh, and I think we're also going to be replacing some of these lights and stuff like that like these headlights I think we can buy different ones I'm gonna be screwing them back on and putting them all in anyways just so we can get a finished look by the end of this video uh, but Let me see grab me grab this, but yeah, we might be changing it up a little bit Oh, I just realized we probably could have painted the hood or something black Not the hood but the uh, the grill here, let me slap all this stuff on, and if I don't like this grill being green, I might go paint it black real quick. I mean, it won't take us any time, because we'll be at the sandblasting anyways. Sandblasting the other one, but, you know, let's see here. Let me grab this door. Check. And all the other small parts, too. Man, this fender reminds me of a Silverado so much. Oh, I was like, why is that? I was like, why is that gray and silver all beat up looking? I was like, oh, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the light frame pieces on. What are these called? The front light frames. Check. I guess I could probably do these black too, honestly. Ooh, or I could do that center part black. I'm doing it. We're taking it. We're painting it black. We're gonna do it. It'll be a black flake, um, like everything else. But we're gonna do it. I think it'll look way better. Yeah, yeah, I think it will. I wish you could mask off and we could just paint like this center part on the hood right here that I'm looking at. If we, wish we just paint that black. Uh, all right. Sandblasting. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna move this up here actually and sandblast it off really quick. Just because I don't want the green to interfere with anything that we're gonna do with black. Just so we can get like the just the, the darkest one we can get. Alright, get this all out of here. Anything else? Always gotta remember to check the bottoms and sides. Alright, time to do this cab now. Or this yeah. No, not cab, bed. Jeez. There right, we go. We got to be slow with this and make sure we get all of our spots. So this is not going to be like the cab where it'll just automatically uh, give us everything. At least I don't think it will. Oh, look at that. I say that and then what does it do? It goes through and sandblasts the entire thing for us. All right. Perfect. Drop that there. Now we gotta move back to the garage. I guess my only recommendation for this game uh, to like the creators would be make it so we don't have to go to the garage every time we wanna transport something. Just because it gets kind of annoying. 
There we go. I mean, it's not terrible. It could be worse, but I mean, you guys know what I'm saying. All right, so now the bed is gonna be all green. And look at that, we got the gun loaded up and ready to go. Oof, gosh, that green is so good. Let me see if I just run across here a few times. Does it, that do it? Oh my gosh, it did it. Oh, but it didn't do the whole thing. It did like that little, it did like, it painted it, but it didn't paint it a thick coat of green. Dang it. I hate it when it does this. Because then it makes it way more difficult for me to tell what was painted and what was not painted. Oh man, that's such a pain in the butt. See here, now I got to paint this entire back area. See, this side is a lot lighter. Oh, no. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Okay. Wait, lime. We did not spray in lime, were we? No, we were not. I think we were spraying... Yeah, free speech green is what we were spraying. There we go. We get a refill back up. There we go. Looking good. All right. Now it's time to switch this up. Get out of here and just go straight black. Flake black. All right. Good. Let's transfer this part over. Where's that guy at? Give me that. Oh, whoa. We're spraying like green on first. What is happening? This is weird. Wonder why it's spray painting on like a weird greenish hue first. All right. Well, since it's doing that, we got to make sure we get this entire thing covered here. Because if we don't, we're going to be seeing green. <laughs> what is happening? That is the weirdest thing I've seen on here. Okay. Oh, wait. We need to take this with us. All right. I hope that doesn't look green when we get back here. All right. Let's see how she looks. Oh, nope. We got to secure that. Hold on. Let's secure this in really quick. Get down there. I wanted to close the hoods because when you close the hood, you can get a better, a better look at what the uh, girl looks like. I mean, it'll like it'll separate everything. Like the look will be a little bit, a little bit, little bit different, but uh, I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll get this. There we go. It's not bad. I mean. Yeah, they're really sharp corners, so it does not like blend in great. But I mean, it's a grill, so it's not does not stand out too terribly bad. Uh, let's screw in all of our doors here real quick. And I think is our bumper screwed in. Our grill is not. That's what it is. Then all we got to do is transfer over our bed back into here, and we should be good for this episode. Let me let me get these in first though. So, next episode, lift kit. I don't know what size lift kit we're going to do yet, guys. I'm probably thinking an 8-inch lift kit, 8 or 12-inch lift kit. I just want to throw it way up, honestly. I just want to see how tall we can get this thing. And the fact that it has nothing on it right now. This is like this This is right now it with no lift kit. So, a 12-inch will bring it up a whole foot. Uh, plus, if we can manage to do it from different tires, I don't know if we can or not. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's actually in the game. Uh, let's check really quick. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can buy. Yep, we can buy uh, different. Yes, we can buy monster wheels. What the heck? Yes, we can buy different wheels. So we're going to be buying different wheels, uh, different off-road tires. Cause I don't think we have off-road tires on there right now. Uh, new exhaust, a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see here. Transfer. Let's go paint shop. Transfer you back here. Paint 
Did I transfer that? It did. Okay. I was like, wait a second. I don't see anything. I'll right, we'll set this here. Put that guy up. This one up. Say a light. And I'm sure if we could, if we, if we could tint stuff in this game, like tint uh, lights, tail lights, uh, windows, it would also add a little bit to the look of this. So it wouldn't be so. I don't know. <laughs> just pure green. It's not bad though. Uh, we'll uh, when we finish screwing this up, we'll take a look back and we'll see how it is. I think it's, I think it's gonna look pretty good actually. I think we have one more. I think this is the last one. Double check everything. No red screws. Okay, there we go. Ooh, all right. So we are done now, guys. So like I said, we got other stuff to do, a lot more stuff to do to this truck. So I hope that this will raise the value. So we bought this for $113,000 and the goal is going to be to sell this for $200,000 with the lift kit, with the paint job, with a uh, roof rack, bigger tires, bigger wheels, everything's different. Uh, that's going to be the goal. But I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. If you guys are enjoying this, free uh rome series i'm really enjoying it it's pretty wait a second wait a second it's pretty fun uh i wonder where that motor went that we ordered we ordered a motor and i don't know where it went okay anyways yeah this is pretty fun because we can just go through spend all the money we want it doesn't really matter uh, and we're learning along the way, which is the whole point of this for me because then I can hop into my single player and I can just destroy everything. But thank you all for watching. Not subscribed yet. Hit that subscribe button. You guys know what to do. And I'll see all of you in the next Diesel Brothers video.